Hi everyone, New Centre here. In my time covering archery topics, I've come across a few interesting points of discussion. And one of them is which side of the bow you should use. Now, obviously, this is mostly dictated by which style of archery you do. But this doesn't stop people from comparing uh, which style or which side is superior. And what it often comes down to is rate of fire or shooting speed. And in looking at comments and discussion threads, one of the comments which I see quite frequently is that the right side of the bow or the thumb side or the outside of the bow is the better side because people can shoot faster using this side. And this fact or this claim is uh, repeated very frequently, uh, often because of references to uh, horse archery historically um, and modern uh, demonstrations, um, as well as of course Lars Anderson. And that kind of got me thinking, is the right side or the outside of the bow inherently faster than the left side? Before we compare shooting speeds, I feel like it's important to clarify um, what speed shooting is and why rate of fire matters or doesn't matter. Now, for the average shot process, where you pull an arrow from a quiver, you knock it and you shoot it, most people can reach a shot every three to five seconds at a relaxed pace. Um, that includes modern archery, by the way, um, as slow as it looks. If you had to rush the shot process, and sometimes we have to because we're running out of time, um, we can pull an arrow, knock it, shoot, click it, bang, hit gold in five seconds. Um, so that's a fairly relaxed pace. Uh, and historically, um, some of the war archers, like the English bowmen, um, could shoot an arrow every five seconds. Uh, some historians and documentation uh, from the ancient Greek period will also refer to shooting an arrow every five seconds. So it seemed to be a fairly acceptable, sustained rate of fire to fling an arrow every five seconds or so. However, that's not what most people think when it comes to speed shooting. Um, speed shooting must be faster than that. And in terms of where this would apply, mostly this will be in mounted combat. We have a very small window in which you can engage the enemy. Whereas a foot archer engaging a long distance will have a bit more time to uh, go through the process and shooting accurately. So it's important to distinguish between slow aimed shooting versus rapid instinctive shooting and obviously the instinctive shooting methods will be much faster though not always precise and i really want to clarify a lot of people say that oh you're saying that it's impossibly instinctive and accurate no i'm not saying that i'm saying that instinctive shooting only need to be accurate enough so if you're comparing an aim shot versus an instinctive shot the aim shot should be far more consistent. But here we're talking about speed. So we're going back to the comment that the outside or the thumb side is faster, but is it? Now, thankfully, I'm not going to demonstrate this myself because I'm not a speed shooter. So there's no point in me demonstrating fast shooting when I'm not very good at it. So instead, we'll look at two experts in the field. The first is Laos Kasai, who basically invented the modern art of horseback archery. And we have uh, Mihai Cosme, who uh, does a more traditional style of archery. And what's interesting is both these uh, shooters use Eastern European methods, but on opposite sides of the bow. So which one is actually faster? First, let's take a look at Kasai. Laios is able to hit every single moving target. 12 arrows in just 17 seconds. So Kasai, who uses the left side of the bow as a right-handed shooter, averages about an arrow every uh, 0 0.7 seconds. So that includes pulling the arrow from the hand, knocking it and shooting it in a three-point motion and hitting every target too. So that's one arrow every 0 0.7 seconds. Let's compare that to Mihai Cosme, who uses the right side of the bow as a right-handed shooter. So 
So Cosmo shoots at around one shot every 0.67 seconds. That's a very, very narrow margin between either side. Now, you could explain some of the discrepancies and differences. Uh, Cosmo is using a quiver, so it's a slightly bit slow, I guess. You could be faster, but it's specially mounted so that the arrows are very close to his hand. And when he does use the hand as a way to grip the arrows, he shoots at about the same speed, if not slightly slower slower. The other thing to keep in mind is that they are also bound by what they're shooting at. Uh, in uh, Kasai's case, he is shooting at thrown targets, he's actually shooting at moving targets, um, and when he does shoot normally, it's from horseback. So he is restricted by the tempo of the horse's gallop rather than the maximum speed he can shoot. But in either case, both shooters are super close. Now, you might be obviously asking, what about Lars Anderson? Um, if you look at Lars Anderson's previous videos, his older ones from like eight years ago, um, he shoots at actually the same rate of fire as the others, about um, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 seconds per shot. Now, the reason why he came to prominence was his reinvention of speed shooting using Saracen archery as a reference. And he quotes that a Saracen archer should be able to shoot uh, three arrows in 1.5 seconds. And that's exactly what he does. He does manage um, in his speech and demonstrations holding multiple arrows um, up to 10 that he shoots an arrow every 0.5 seconds or just under. So it's very, very quick. That said, it's a little difficult to judge him against Kasai and Cosme because his shooting style for speed shooting is quite different. It's very much a half draw shooting at a very close target. He hits the target and they're moving, but it's extremely short range using only half draw, whereas Kasai and Cosme do proper full draws using instinctive shooting techniques. So it's exceptional. I'd say that you, you could definitely say Lars is the fastest shooter using the outside of the bow, but I would put an asterisk next to that because it's not, I guess, proper technique and arguably it's not how people would have shot. And again, this isn't to disparage or undermine how fast he is, how skilled he is, but more to the point that it's specifically for the purpose of shooting quickly and not necessarily what would have been done uh, in an actual practical situation. Because again, you are often more limited by these context and scenario more so than the equipment you use or the style you use. To conclude, is there inherently a faster side to shoot from? And the answer is no, it's not conclusively proven, as both sides of the bow have been demonstrated to shoot extremely quickly and they're almost similar in shooting speed. It's not inherent to the side. Now, different styles will shoot at different speeds. Uh, Kudo will shoot from the outside and shoot very slowly. Olympic shooters will shoot from the other side and shoot very slowly. Again, it's not tied down to the style. And as I said, depending on what you shoot and how you shoot it, you can adapt the techniques to be even quicker. So when people go around saying that the thumb draw method is the faster method and using the right side is faster, I don't think that's conclusively proven. And in my historical understanding and my opinion, that's not why people shoot from this side. There are other reasons for this, but pure speed isn't the reason why this side of the bow is used historically. Anyway, hope you found that interesting and informative. This is New Sensei, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.